brothers and sisters, the coronavirus has frustrated many aspects of life and has made life quite complicated. Life is different this week than it was two weeks ago. And yet, the functions of the church have not ceased. Our church continues to meet digitally and live life together. We are continuing to be the church. And one way that we're continuing to be the church is that we're continuing to have prayer night. We do this digitally on an online uh, platform called Zoom. Now, uh, you all know that prayer is a major topic in Scripture and a major mark of what it means to be God's people. This is illustrated by the fact that the uh, the word the verb prayer or the verb pray or praise or prayed and the noun prayer that family word group occurs roughly 320 times in our English Bibles. Now that number doesn't account for uh, times when the topic of prayer is present, such as when a saint asks of God something, or requests something of God, or gives thanks to God, or makes supplication to God. In each of those instances, prayer is there. And yet, the word prayer, or pray, or prayed, or praise, is not present. Uh, this illustrates how important the topic of prayer is. Now, this importance of prayer is also illustrated in the fact that the heroes of the Old Testament uh, are constantly portrayed as those who pray. David, Daniel, Nehemiah, the list can go on and on. We see in the New Testament that Jesus is a man of prayer. We see that in the early church that a mark of the early church was that they devoted themselves to prayer, amongst other things. We see that Paul is a man of prayer. He begins his epistles constantly by praying for the church and often asking the church to pray for him. In fact, he commands us to pray without ceasing. Prayer is a major topic uh, in the scripture because of what prayer is. Prayer is communication with the God of this universe. And brothers and sisters, as the people of God, our prayer to God is safe, that we, have, we can pray to God safely, that we can pray in a manner of peace, that we have peace before God because of what Jesus Christ has done, and we can pray with confidence that when we pray, trusting in his character, he hears us. Brothers and sisters, right now in a time of scarcity and in a time of, of, uh, of, of fear and anxiety, we have the ability to pray to the God of this universe, the all-powerful God who controls coronavirus, and we also have the confidence that when we pray to that God, we're not just praying to a powerful God. We are praying to our loving Father. Prayer is important because of what it is. Safe communication with the God of this universe. We are commanded to pray, and we are commanded to pray without ceasing. I invite you, brothers and sisters, to join us on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. on our Zoom platform to pray together to see one another's faces, to see one another in each other's homes, but more importantly, to take one another's prayers, to pray on behalf of one another, on behalf of our church, and on behalf of our community, on behalf of our world, in a time when we have desperate need. You see, especially in a season of suffering, we are commanded to pray, and when we pray, there is power that God will work. He uses the prayers of his people to accomplish his divine, sovereign purposes, brothers and sisters. So this Wednesday, and each Wednesday, uh, as long as we are uh, in isolation, let's meet together via our Zoom platform to pray together. I'll see you at 6.30, brothers and sisters, on Wednesday, 6.30.